Hey, hello there guys, my name is Veneka and welcome to my free-to-play Wilderness Ultimate Iron Man adventure. Before we begin, I would first like to say thank you for choosing to watch this video. You may have noticed that it's incredibly long, that is because it's 9 episodes combined in one to show you all the progress of season 1. When I first started the series, I had no idea where it would take us, but the more progress we made, the more I realized it needed a second season. And that is why, even after this video, the adventure is not over yet. My account will be upgraded to the member world to face even more dangers and to live in fear of being killed every single second of playing the game. But for now I would say, grab a drink, a snack, sit back and watch me take on the free-to-play wilderness. Oh, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Have fun! Alright then, let's go! Enter the wilderness and now I cannot go back. To be honest guys, I have no idea what to do because um, I have no plan. Of course I know that there are many item spawns in the wildy and I can kill so many monsters and stuff, but let's just start by killing this rat. Oh, never mind, he's level 6. So <laughs> that's literally how much I know. Like, we'll see what's gonna happen, I guess. Alright, so this really gives me flashbacks of my previous account because when I started my hardcore account, I went to the wildy to train my prayer here. Uh, to level 43 in one go, it took me like 7 or 8 hours, which I am not going to do on this account, but of course I will train some prayer to start off, probably to level 25, so that I can use a protect item, that should I die, I can at least uh, protect one item, but we'll see about that. Okay, so I have been training here for like one and a half hours, and once I have buried these three bones, I will be 25 prayer, which is nice, because then I can use protect item, and should I ever die, I can at least protect, yeah, like I said, one item. So let's do it now. Here we go. One, two, there's the level 25. Very nice. And three. Let's put this on the quick prayer. And um, yeah, let's move on. Oh, this is actually very cool. I noticed that there is like a bronze arrow spawn here. Now I have to watch out for the bear, but um, you know, I can save up some arrows here, which is pretty nice. Now the only problem that I have is that if I lose this bow, there's no way to retrieve it, because it's a regular short bow, and there's no way to get this item in the wildy. So that is going to be, yeah, kind of a problem, to be honest. Um, I think there's only one way after that to be able to train range, and that is by using a regular crossbow, which can be found in the wildy. But that is not a great way to train, so I just, you know, have to survive this, I guess. Well, look at that, my first random event. Let's uh, unlock the chest and see what I will get from this guy. Um, okay, so a ring, coins, and another ring. Here we go. And I get a ring. Okay, well, let's wear it. Look at that. We just got ourselves a gold ring. Alright, so I have been training my range for a bit, and when I ran out of arrows, I went back to the bears to get some more. But now I'm here again, I can hit twos with my arrows, killing these rats for uh, giant red meat, or raw red meat. And uh, I'm gonna go and look for a tree so I can make a fire then and cook these for some nice food. Seriously, I had no idea that these trees were this far away. Like, this is literally the first tree that I see that I can chop. So, uh, that really sucks, but anyway, at least I found one. Well, this scorpion tried to kill me, but now I'm on a safe place. Luckily, made a fire. Now it's time to train my cooking for a bit. Hopefully I will not burn everything. <laughs> okay, well, that's not a great start. Uh, okay, well, that's better. Let's finish this off. Once again, back to the arrows, but this time I am prepared with food, so I will last a bit longer. So, I collected over 200 arrows, and the reason why I'm doing this is because now I can train range. I know I have this bow, but should I die for whatever reason, I will lose it, probably, and then the only weapon, like I said, is going to be a crossbow, and that's going to be so slow. So, you know, now that I can train it, I will do it, and um, I don't know if it's going to be handy or not, but... I just want to train it, so, yeah, you know, let's just do it. Now that I have some food, it is time for the first mini challenge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the lava maze and um, try and get myself a staff of earth and a steel play body, gold necklace, that kind of stuff. I know, by the way, that the gold necklace is not even necessary, but still, I want it. Um, but, of course, it's quite risky because it's very high level wildy and, like you see here, there's high level monsters around here, so it is pretty scary, to be honest. But, uh... You know, let's just go for it. 
Okay, so here is the Staff of Earth. That is great. And now let's go and get the Play Body over there. Okay, so I got the Play Body, but am I gonna go for the Body Runes is the question. 15. I know they're very bad, but I wanna go for it. Just don't die! And... Oh! Don't die! <laughs> I've never risked so much for just 15 Body Runes, but I've done it. Okay then, well, this went uh, not too bad. So, uh, gonna go back now, and now that I have a staff, I might wanna focus on magic for a bit. What I kind of forgot is that I don't really have a source for mind runes at the moment, so I gotta wait with magic for a bit, because um, I know that there are mind runes in the Dark Warrior's Fortress, like right here, but I need to get some combat and HP levels before I wanna go there, because it is quite dangerous, and also very crowded with PKers, so, um, you know, I don't wanna go there yet. Yay, very interesting. Niles, this is a fish. Ooh, beautiful. Coins. And there is level 10 range, guys. Not too bad. Let's uh, keep going. Alright then, I cooked some more food. Well, to be honest, I burned more than I cooked, but then anyways. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the bears once more, because what I'm gonna try now is try and kill them. I can hit three now with my arrows, at least on accurate. Um, and if I can stay there, then it means that I basically have an infinite source of arrows and XP. Well, I guess this is working quite well, but I gotta say that on this level I do miss a lot still. Um, but I think I can sustain this way, and hopefully they will become unaggressive after a while, and then I can just pick them up forever. That's gonna be sick. Oh yeah, buddies, 20 range. I gotta say, I think I already found the ranging meta in the wildy. I mean, this is great. I mean... Look at my arrows, like 300 plus, and I've been killing these guys for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? But this way, um, especially when I start hitting 4s and 5s, I will save so many arrows that I will have an infinite stack of bronze arrows soon. And here is another pirate, and of course I will help you to unlock your chest. No problem, matey. So, ring, ball, and another ball, and we get a gold necklace, but I already got one, so I guess I should drop this. Oh well. Alright then guys, after killing some more bears, I decided to start hopping worlds and collecting more arrows. And as you can see, I have over 1000 arrows now, which is insane. And now it's time to kill the next enemy. Okay then guys, so a few hours later, you can see I have 200 arrows left and I'm killing skeletons. And now let me explain you why I'm killing these. As you can see in my inventory, I got 10 bronze bars. Um, these guys are basically the only way for me to train smithing because they are the only monster that drop bronze bars in the free-to-play willy and I cannot mine any rocks because the lowest level rock in the willy is level 15 iron ore and I'm only level 1 so I basically can't train my mining unless I use experience lamps from random events and stuff like that but that's gonna take ages so um, it's very very slow this way but it's the only way so I have to. Now I really really do like this method though because as you can see I'm for the fence close to uh, 5 and 34 range so uh, that's really nice I can hit 5 already I'm just going for 5 defense so that I can just equip my steel play body whenever I need to and I can drop this ultimate Iron Man play body it will save me one inventory slot but um, every now and then I will go to this place and collect myself some bronze bars I want to grind out this 15 smithing as quickly as I can it's gonna take like 30 or 40 hours I believe but still I really want to do it because then I can you know get iron bar spawns and stuff like that and it's gonna be much easier for me to train my smithing I decided to end this trip because I'm out of food and I really want to use these uh, bronze bars to get some smithing XP so I'm gonna kill these rats right here and um, get myself some red meat cook them for food and then go to the bandit camp to get a hammer for these bronze bars. And here is going to be the very first cape that we will obtain on this account, and probably the last because um, this is the best in slot for me. Pretty cool to be honest. Now um, I'm gonna go to this altar and pray because I'm only, you know, I have one point left. And after that we're gonna go to the bandit camp to buy a hammer. Here we go, you shall not pass. Well I am going to pass no matter what, but uh, please don't kill me. Bandits. I gotta run to the store here, to the shop. I'm gonna lock myself in. Otherwise, they are gonna kill me. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Now, let's buy a hammer right here. And that is basically all we need. Should we ever lose anything, you know, can buy a tinder box here. Bronze pickaxe, bronze axe, and stuff like that. And these are not mine, or I mean, these are not regular stock, these are from players. 
But anyways, I uh, have a hammer now, so it's time to train smithing. Finally! I honestly think that I'm only gonna get literally one level from all these bars, but I don't care about that, of course, because, you know, I will need to keep training, and eventually we will get to level 15, but, you know, in just the baby steps, so only 12 and a half experience per bar, and, um, let's see, well, only two more bars for level 2. That is gonna be our first milestone. <laughs> wow. Level 2 smithing, guys. Beautiful, I can now make a bronze mace. Oh, actually, yeah, there. Let's make it, and um, wow, yep, this is incredibly slow, but at least we got some experience, and I'm super happy about that, so um, the first trip has been completed, guys, and a total level of 125, not too bad. Well, guys, I'm about to hit another 1,000 bronze arrows after I picked up these two. Look at that. Um, with all these arrows, I'm gonna go back to the skeletons to get myself more bronze bars and train up my smithing, so that should be very exciting, guys, yep. Isn't it beautiful, guys? Level 40 range, that is amazing. I think if I start using iron arrows now, I can hit 6. Not sure. Uh, also, I have 8 more bronze bars. If I get 2 more, I can get 4 smithing, so that is not too bad. The gains are uh, very slow, but we are getting there. So, after this skeleton kill, I've killed 500 in total, and I got 21 bronze bars. So, that's about 1 bar per 25 kills. And to get 15 smithing, I'm gonna need close to 200 bars, so it is still going to take a long uh, while, but I have a quite nice inventory of bars now, so I'm gonna go to the anvil and make them into, uh, I don't know, daggers or something like that, and um, I will get level 4 smithing then, so um, we are getting there. So, here we go again. Let's do some smithing. I can make some maces, and um, this will get me level 3 smithing, and woohoo! Awesome! Level 4 smithing coming in, we are very close, one more bar, and... Beautiful! Yoohoo! Wow, this is taking so long, but um, I am happy with this level. Oh man, a lot of things happening at once, please give me something good. Oh, wait. What? I... What did he give me? I think some coins only? Oh well, that kinda sucks. But anyway guys, I'm gonna try to kill some uh, dark wizards and hopefully get a wizard hat or a black robe or something like that, so uh, yeah, hopefully we can do that. I just missed the level, but I got 42 range now, and that means my new max hit should be 6 now with bronze arrows, so that is really, really good. Now, it will take a while before I hit 7, I think I need like 51 range, but for now, this comes in very, very handy for killing skeletons faster. Yahoo! Look at this, guys! A wizard hat! That is actually sick! Yeah, this looks amazing! And what do we get back to back? A black robe. I honestly don't even know if this item gives me a bonus, so let me actually check that. Mm. Yes, it does! Plus three magic! Wow! So once again, I am back at the bears, and I know it's starting to get a bit repetitive, but this is necessary, because now that I still have my bow, I need to get as much range XP as possible. So I'm staying here until they get an aggressive, then I'm gonna start hopping worlds and picking up more arrows to go back to the skeletons once again and get bronze bars. Now the reason why I'm focusing so much on these bronze bars is that um, once I start getting random events and experience lamps, I really want to use them on smithing. But the lower my smithing level is, the less XP I get, you know. At level 1 I would have only gotten 10 XP and now it's already 40, so I want to get as high uh, smithing as possible so the XP lamps will be worth more and that way I will go to level 15 quicker. Because at level 15, things are gonna change. I can train smithing whenever I want to, and I'm not, you know, I don't rely on drops from monsters anymore. So that is really, really important. So that is why I'm doing this. I have no idea what items this guy can give me, but... Okay, I got a sapphire. Well, gems are basically useless for me, because I can't train crafting, and I can't enchant any amulets, because there's no molds. So, um, yeah, I have to drop this, unfortunately. Bye-bye. So this is quite interesting, I have calculated how long it takes to pick up these arrows, and if I just keep walking and not use my run energy, I can pick up 1800 uh, bronze arrows per hour, which is actually not too bad, to be honest. Alright then, so, half an hour later, we are here, and we have 1000 arrows again, which means we can go and grind some more bronze bars. So, there is another skeleton kill, and now I will have... 29 prayer, look at that, let's go guys, keep going.
Just look at this beautiful level, guys. 46 range already. We're getting close to 50. Oh, an adamant crossbow. That would have been amazing, but uh, not gonna happen. Okay, guys, so what just happened here is incredibly scary. Um, basically, my computer suddenly shut down. I have this problem sometimes. And as you can see, uh, my HP, I have 8 HP left. But you know what happened? I clicked on the skeleton to attack, and as, as soon as I saw the red dot, you know, when you click on it, I, it shut down. I was like, okay, this is it. He's gonna kill me, and I'm gonna lose everything, my bow and stuff. Luckily, it didn't happen. I killed it before uh, he was able to kill me, I suppose. And, uh, well, what I'm gonna do now, of course, is stack up on food, and for now, from now on, I'm just gonna make sure I'm at full HP when I kill these guys, so if this happens again, um, it will not be over. Whew. Wow. Okay then guys, I got 10 more bars, which means I can train another level that is very exciting to level 5 smithing. We're so close. 7 XP. And here it is. 5 smithing. 10 levels to go guys for iron bars. So, during all this training I've been watching some videos and I found this new method of killing skeletons for even quicker bronze bars. Now it is going to be quite risky because it's at the Ankus, but um, I'm gonna give this a try because it is so much faster than the method that I used to do. So I really want to go for that. And uh, I got myself some food. Um, going to get more arrows at the bears once again and then go to the Ankus and see if I can get quicker bronze bars there. Honestly guys, I really love this bronze arrow spawn. This is amazing. I think in total I picked up like 5,000 of these already. And there's level 14 cooking. Not too bad. Let's cook these two as well. Oh, never mind. Level 6. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, damn. Still 9 levels to go, but... Um, oh, no, uh, nice. I can now make two... Uh, you know, I can use two bronze bars for one item now. Look at this. Long sword. Oh, scimitars as well. Beautiful. 25 XP drop. <laughs> Insane. Just like in the second episode, I'm going to start off with 1000 bronze arrows, but that's only good news guys, because that means we're gonna go and hunt for more bronze bars. It is uh, really nice that I rarely burn one of these uh, things now. Of course, I do not cook everything successfully, but uh, this is more than enough to uh, sustain. Ladies and gentlemen, I can now finally, finally, like I said, announce that I've reached level 50 range and I'm super happy with that. Look at this, guys. Wow. Halfway to 99. <laughs> well, just look at this beautiful level. 40 hit points, guys. Not too bad. By the way, I'm close to 51 range, and that's a very good level, because then I will hit 7 with bronze arrows. That's gonna be sick. After this skeleton, I will have... Well, actually, now I have 51 range, which is really nice, because now I can hit 7s with bronze arrows. That's super sick. And I got 10 bronze bars in my inventory, so I'm gonna go back now to make these into whatever, and then I will get level 7 smithing, so, um, super exciting. Finally, we are back at the satisfying part again. I can make something on this anvil. I'm gonna make some bronze scimitars, I can make 5 of those, and, um, this will give me level 7 smithing. You know, it is very slow XP, but, you know, we will get there. I mean, level 15, it is still far away, but, uh, you know, I have the full faith that we can do this. Look at that guy, 7 smithing. Anything new? Bronze full helms. Wow. I'm proud of myself. Seriously guys, since the start of this account I've never had a genie, so um, you know, I really want a genie, but I'm not getting any. I'm always getting the wrong randoms. I have noticed that my rune stack is becoming bigger and bigger, so I really need to train magic uh, soon. Now the only problem is that I don't have any mind runes, but I discovered that there is a mind rune spawn at the boneyard, I think six at a time. Um, I just don't know if I want to go there, because if I die, I mean, I lose so much stuff. But on the other hand, I really want to train magic, because it's so useful, so I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Alright guys, here's going to be another prayer level. We are flying through these five more levels for the first protect, uh, that is protect from magic then. I was almost out of arrows, but I needed to get 12 bars for level 8 smithing, but we actually got them, guys. All the bars that we need, so I cannot wait to get this level. Oh man, I never thought that I would have been this excited for level 8 smithing only, but seriously, man. This feels like such great progress. Alright, so here we go. Two more to go. 8 XP to go, and level 8 coming in. Look at that. Bronze square shields. Nice. 
Okay, so I'm going to the Boneyard now, which is really risky because there's many PKers there. It's close to the Hill Giants and close to famous locations. It is multi, like right here as well. So it's going to be uh, very exciting. Hopefully I won't die, guys. I can see it already, guys. It's over there. Six mine runes, but um, like I said, it's very risky. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep hopping worlds and pick them up. And hopefully uh, people won't kill me here. But it's going to be very annoying if the skeleton finds me and kills me or attacks me before that because then I cannot world hop. So that is uh, going to suck. I have been doing this for like 15 minutes only and I got 1000 mind runes guys. That is honestly insane. But I'm going to leave this place now because this is enough for now to train my magic. Oh nice, a new drop. But anyway, I'm super happy. Let's go. I'm just going to train my magic here until the bears become unaggressive and then I'm going to pick up some more arrows and go back to the skeletons again. But this is a great way to train my early uh, magic levels. Well guys, this is a very exciting level because level 9 allows me to cast um, Earth, let's see, Earth Strike. And that is going to be uh, my best spell for a long time. I mean, I think I will be using this until I can do Crumble and that. So it's uh, going to be, yeah, like I said, the best spell for now. This is a very interesting level because I can now use Bones to Bananas. So should I, you know, need food wherever I am, um, I can just turn bones into some food. But for that, I will need some nature runes first. So I think I should uh, bring a visit to the Dark Wizards uh, soon. I just hit a very nice milestone. 200 total level and 20 magic. Now I can use bind. So um, here it is. Bind. So should I, you know, get chased by a PKer, I do have a chance to escape from him by using bind. You know the drill guys, another 1000 bronze arrows, but first I'm gonna cook these and then go to the Dark Wizards to get myself some nature runes. Well, 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 look at this guys, our first nature rune drop, that's very nice. Alrighty, well, I got 16 nature runes and what I can do now is simply equip my staff and say, uh, voila, and there we go, we've got bananas, nice food. I just got level 25 magic and normally I would be able to teleport to Farrok, but I will not allow myself to do it. And still no genie, which really sucks. Oh, spinach roll. Awesome, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah, I will not allow myself to teleport because, of course, it would break the rules because I would go behind the willy ditch, which is not allowed. So, nope, no teleports for me. I accidentally re aggroed the monsters at the graveyard, so I just uh, decided to leave and use these four bars so that I can train some experience. Here we go. I will not get a level, of course, but um, hopefully in the next trip I will be able to... I need... Um, what is it? I think nine more bars now till a smithing level. And here we go for 53 range. Look at that, a beautiful level. I think on 61 I will start hitting eights, but that is still a long way to go. Did I really just get an uncut diamond? I think this is literally the rarest drop I can receive on this account. So that is actually quite unfortunate because I cannot do anything with that with it. So that kind of sucks. Well guys, this is actually a very nice present because this is the ninth bar in my inventory and that means I have enough for 9 smithing now and I'm also very close to 54 range. So I'm gonna get this level and then train my smithing to level 9. Yay! Honestly guys, I always feel so excited when I know I can get another smithing level. I mean, it's only level 9, but then still, on this account it's a huge achievement and every time we get closer to 15, because from that level it will all get so much easier. 1 XP lads, 1 XP. So let's make the classical bronze dagger to get this level. Here we go. Level 9 smithing has been achieved. And there is 28 magic, not a too bad level. I'm gonna kill some more bears and then collect more arrows once more. So I've been collecting more arrows and this time over 1000, like 1.5k almost, but I got logged out because of the hop limit and I wasn't able to log in for like one and a half hours. It was really, really annoying, but uh, I can finally log in again. So it's time to go for more bronze bars like always. Well guys, here's 55 range. Look at this level, man. Already 55, not too bad. So here is 34 prayer which means only three more levels till the first protect which is protect from magic I cannot wait honestly guys. I am on my way to train smithing again with 10 bronze bars that I've collected I need 14 for level 10 smithing and I think after level 10 I will take a break and do something else and um, Hopefully I can get you know some levels with XP lamps from genies then but still I haven't received one single genie So that kind of sucks 
But I think I can make a three item bronze uh, weapon now. This one, the bronze warhammer. So let's make those and we get 37.5 XP drops. That is the biggest XP drop. Oh, actually 38. It's basically an XP drop, so. Okay, two more. Let's make the, uh, yeah, what do we make? The square shield? No, we have one more left. Never mind. A dagger. And 48 XP to go for level 10 smithing, guys. And there is 29 magic, guys. Now I can use Earth Bolt. Um, I'm not going to do that, though, because it will cost me a Chaos Rune, and I want to save these for Crumble Undead uh, at level 39. So that's still going to take a while, but um, I'll stick with the Strike spell for now. Honestly, guys, I've had so many randoms now, but still not a genie. That is so annoying. Like, I think I, I've had at least 20 randoms and no single genie. Damn it. I have been here for so long and the monsters re-aggroed twice, so it was super annoying. But here is the bronze bar that I need for level 10 smithing, guys. That is actually insane. Double digit smithing. And uh, that also means that I'm going to take a break from that now. Because hopefully in the future I will get some genies that will level up my smithing. But um, if it takes too long, I'll go back to go for level 15. But for now, it is fine. So I'm going to go to the anvil and get level 10. That's going to be sick. I'm going to make two scimitars to level up to level 10. So that's the first. And now the second. Oh man, this feels good. 10 smithing. That is actually pretty sick. Bronze battle axes. Oh yeah. Hey, hello there guys. My name is Vanaka and welcome to episode 4 of my free-to-play world that is Iron Man. I just got myself level 20 cooking. That is very nice. I'm training my fishing and cooking because I think it's time that I get some better food now. I mean, I've been walking around with bananas and meat all the time. But I want to go and get myself some pizzas, which is a lot better food. And I will feel much more safe than in the future. Once again... The wrong random event, I need a genie, so get lost, you. Well, look at this, level 15 fishing. That is very nice because now I can catch anchovies and also 250 total. I guess that is not too bad, guys. I'm proud of myself. Okay, so there's no live commentary of this clip, but look at the white dots on the minimap. I was just in time to, you know, hop to a different world before getting attacked, but, you know, it's a wildy. You're never safe. Well, I guess it's the same story. You are not the person I would like to see, but I guess. Thanks for the kebab. And here we go for level 30 cooking. Look at that. Five more levels now, guys, until we can uh, make pizzas. It's gonna be very nice. Well, I guess this is gonna be it. What I'm gonna try and do is bind this guy if I can. I don't think I can. I think. Oh, wait a second. Ooh, this hurts even more because now... Okay, I'm dead. He has his friends. Well, goodbye. My dear Bo. It is over. No! If they haven't picked up the short bow, I'm so lucky. Please. Oh my god. Holy shit, I'm so freaking lucky. I am so freaking lucky they haven't picked up the bow. That is... That is unbelievable. Alright guys, look at this, level 35 cooking, which now means we can make pizzas, that is going to be awesome. I gotta say, my inventory looks a bit empty now because of course I lost all my items, but we have to rebuild soon. Let's do it. I totally forgot that I lost all my cash of course when I died, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just sell my gold necklace, I don't need it for anything anyways, and uh, this will give me a few hundred pieces of gold, so look at that, look at that 270 gold, and with this I can buy some pizza bases. I really wonder how many of these pizzas I will cook successfully. My guess is one. Here we go. <laughs> okay, yep. Um, okay, that's what I expected. And uh, what about now? Okay, <laughs> this sucks. Oh, please, give me one pizza. I'm hungry. <sighs> yep, like I said, one. Well, that's enough pizzas for now. I'm gonna go and train some prayer. Alright then guys, we are about to hit a very nice milestone because after burying all these bones I will have the very first protect of the prayers and that's gonna be protect magic Look at this guys 37 prayer. I can now do this and I feel a lot more safe when I see a PK now Whew. Guys what I'm gonna do now is very exciting I'm gonna collect new arrows because of course I died and lost all of them 
and this time I'm going to train range on long range so we get defense levels. And I'm going to go for 40 defense so I can equip rune and we're going to go and kill greater demons and hopefully get a rune full helm, eddy plate legs and all this best gear that I can get in the free to play willies. So yep, we're going to go for max melee gear guys, it's going to be very nice. So here we go, I collected another 1000 arrows, that is awesome. Let's go to the greater demons and let's see if we can get anything. Well then guys, the only thing I gotta do now is just keep killing these guys and hopefully get a goo drop. But of course I should also keep in mind that there can be PKers around here, so I gotta pay attention to the minimap. But uh, let's go and kill these guys and hopefully get something nice. The first kill guys, let's see what we can get from him. And we get coins. Well that is not very spectacular, but okay, it's the first kill. Well, look at this! Our first drop is a steel axe. That's actually an upgrade because I've got an iron one, so let's drop this one and voila! Nice! Well, look at this beautiful level. Level 20 defense, guys. I can now wear mithril gear that is super sick. Oh yeah! Here we got our very first best in slot gear. Adamant plate legs. That is so awesome! This is a special one because I got 25 defense, but I'm also very close to level 57 range, guys. It is actually quite slow the way you train here, but I'm just gonna stay here until I run out of arrows and then go back. Hopefully I can reach level 30 defense then as well. But look at this, guys. 57 range. I'm super happy with that. Holy crap, guys. The rune full help. <laughs> I got it. That is so sick. The rune full help. So... I mean, the only thing I can get now is a Mithril Kite Shield, and then I got the best drops from this creature, then I will not have to go back here anymore, because I already have the best drops then. That is actually really, really cool. And there is another Hit Points level coming in, level 47. It's been a while, but uh, very nice. I just got level 29 defense, and this also gives me a nice total level of 300, so, uh, you know, we are getting somewhere now. Well, look at this, guys. Level 30 defense. I mean, this is gonna be so sick. Look at this. Kapam! Any legs. Now, even if I die now, I can't say I have equipped these beautiful green legs. What I'm gonna do is kill this uh, last demon, and then I will go um, away from this place. I will go to the Lava Maze again to get myself a new steel play body and a new staff and gold necklace and stuff like that. And um, then I'm gonna go and do something else. Alright then, let's pick it up very quickly and... Look at that, we got our steel plate buddy. Honestly guys, I look quite badass already. I got the um, eddy legs already. I got the rune full helmet, but I can't uh, wear it yet. I need 40 defense first. I got the steel plate body and I think I need the uh, mithril kite shield. I can get that from greater demons as well. And I want to go for a mithril sword, which I can get at the moss giants. And there should be a steel sword spawn somewhere around here. I think it was right here. Let me see. Yes, it is. So let me pick it up. And once I get level 5 attack, I can uh, equip that and use it. Here we go for the first Moss Giant kill on this account. I know it's not that special, but hey, it's the Moss Giant kill. Come on. Look at that. A magic staff. Nice. And there is level 32 defense. Only 8 more levels until we can equip this beautiful Rune Full Helm. Awesome. And there is my first shield upgrade. Look at that. A black shield. I can now drop this one. That is awesome. Yoohoo. So I wasn't really commentating at this point, but I was watching a movie and I got attacked by this guy and luckily I was able to escape, but it was a very scary moment, so uh, luckily nothing happened. But anyways, let's continue. Okay, so after I got attacked, I figured it would be better to stay low for the rest of the evening, so I decided to collect some more arrows and, uh, you know, watch a movie. And look at that, we got 2,000 bronze arrows. That's uh, pretty sick, to be honest. Let's go back to the Moss Giants and then uh, hopefully get some nice drops. Alright, here we go. 35 defense, guys. 5 more levels and then I can wear this beautiful rune full helm. Yes, guys! We got the Mithril Sword, which is the best sword that I can get in the free-to-play wilderness as a monster drop. Who knows, I may actually train my smithing this far that I can make a Mithril Scimitar, but that will not happen anytime soon. So this weapon is actually the best in slot. That is awesome. Uh, okay, well, uh, I can't really use the Mossy Key in the wilderness, but, uh... Well, I guess I gotta just let it go. Seriously guys, just a few kills later I get another mossy key, but of course once again I can't do anything with it, so um, I'll just let it, you know, go. Let me pick it up first, okay, so now I can drop it. I have no idea why I did that. You are not going to believe me when I say this, but literally it disappeared and I get another mossy key. It's no joke, like, what the hell is going on? 
But once again, I can't do anything with this, so yeah, once again, I'll just leave it on the ground. Okay, so this is quite funny. I got a Steel Met Helm drop. Now, this is technically an upgrade if you compare it to my Ultimate Iron Man Helm. So, I guess I should now destroy my Ultimate Iron Man Helm. Um, but, you know, in a few more defense levels, I can wear the Rune Fool Helm anyway. So, it doesn't really matter too much. But for now, I'm sorry, Ultimate Iron Man Helm. Bye-bye. No! Guys, seriously, what is, what is this? What is going on with this account? I mean, I, I can't do anything with these drops, but... I keep getting them. Level 58 range, guys, on a wildy only Ultimate Iron Man. This is actually quite epic. I was literally just thinking, like, when is the next time I'm gonna get another random? And when is the first time I'm gonna get a genie? And when I think this, I get this guy again. I mean, seriously, from the start of this account, I've never had a genie. That really, really sucks. But oh well, it's the way it is, I guess. Every now and then I train some magic too because I got some more air runes so I just use them up uh, at once and uh, we got 31 magic guys, that is not too bad. Teleport to Lumbridge but I will not be using that. Well look at that, 49 hit points, not too bad. Alright so after I kill this moss giant I will get the last big bone that I need for 38 prayer and I gotta say it's quite nice that I got this free level from just killing these moss giants. I mean I didn't even notice that I was training prayer so that's really nice, look at that, 38. So only two more levels now and then I have Protect from range and that is going to be incredibly useful. Well guys, we are about to hit level 40 defense which is such an amazing achievement, look at that. I can now finally equip my Rune Full Helm which is the best gear in the free to play wilderness. This is really really nice, look at this gear. Look how badass I am. Oh shit. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this giant and then I'm gonna go back to the start of the wildy and kill some rats and train my attack and strength. It's gonna be fun. Alright, let's go for level 5 attack. Yeah, a new weapon buddies, a steel sword. Let's use it and start training strength again. I wanna get, uh, I don't know, a few strength levels and then get 20 attack for the uh, mithril sword. Let's do it. Freaking pirate, please just go away. And there it is, level 20 strength. I'm literally flying through these levels, guys. It's going so well. So after killing some more rats, I decided to move over to the zombies because I think I'm strong enough to kill these guys now. And in a few more hits, I will have 20 attack, which is enough for the Mithril Sword, which is then the best in slot sword for me in the free-to-play area, probably. Um, so that's very exciting. I'm not sure if I'm strong enough to kill skeletons then because then I can basically move on with the bronze bar grind with melee But if not, I may want to go to another location. I'm not really sure, but here we go guys level 20 attack That is awesome. Let's equip the mithril sword that is insane and drop the steel one Yeah Okay, then I decided to train a bit more prayer and after three or four more bones, I'm not sure exactly, I will have level 40 prayer. Look at that. That is actually ama uh, amazing because I can now use protect from missiles. I think that's very, very useful in the wilderness because many people use range. So I will feel a lot more safe now that I have protect mage and range. That is very sick. And there, level 36 cooking. It is not going that fast because I don't make pizzas that often, but you know, it's another level, so I'm happy. Okay, so I have no live commentary of this clip, but what happened here was actually quite funny because I decided to collect some runes at the Dark Warriors Fortress and there was this other guy stealing all the runes from me in all these worlds, he was hopping worlds too. And I just decided to attack him because, you know, if I get skilled it doesn't matter because if I die I will lose all my items anyway. And I instantly killed him with a 7, which is really nice, and he dropped hundreds of Chaos runes. Uh, unfortunately, of course, I couldn't pick them up, but it's the way it is. But uh, after I killed him, I just uh, continued to pick up some runes, which is uh, great. My dear friends, just take a look at my inventory and you'll be very happy. I've been collecting these runes for a couple of hours because I have to train my magic and uh, I'm gonna go and use all these runes as skeletons again so I can get more bronze bars for the smithing grind. I just don't know where I'm gonna kill them. I can go to the Ankus like I did before, but I can also go back to this spot like right here, which is a lot more safe of course and uh, you know, I don't risk my runes there because if I die, I will lose loads of progress which is gonna suck then, but uh, yeah, let's see what we're gonna do. Once again, the wrong random event. Well, this is quite a special level because now I can use telegraph which is very nice and will come in very handy in the future. Here we go guys, level 20 woodcutting, that is not too bad, I got 23 fire making as well. 
Total level 390. I think I'm going to go for 400 total. And after that, I'm going to leave this place and probably go to the skeletons at the Ankus deeper in the wildy. Amazing. I can now use Firebolt. Pretty sick. There is level 28 fire making and 400 total, guys. Look at that. It is looking amazing. Alright, so I decided to go to the Dark Wizards before going to the Skeletons, and on this skill I will get level 50 HP, guys. Look at that, that is actually super sick. I wanted to go here to train some more strength, I mean, I'm level 30 almost, so I'm uh, gonna do that, and uh, once I think I'm done here, I'm gonna go to the Skeletons. Isn't it beautiful, guys? Level 30 strength, that is amazing. Okay, so I think this is worth recording. Look at this, I pick up these nature runes, and kapow! 102! This is an insane stack, guys. I mean, look at this. It's pretty insane. Holy shit. Alright, guys, so I decided to just stay here until 40 strength, which I'm gonna achieve at this uh, Dark Wizard. But I'm like, I might as well just stay here now until level, uh, level 40 attack as well. I mean, it's very good to train here, and I'm, you know, relaxing, and it's all good. So, yeah, 40 strength, and now I'm gonna go for, yeah, 40 attack. I just totally missed it, but look at the level guys, 39 magic, that means we can now use Crumble Undead and it is going to be super super useful when killing skeletons for the bronze bar grind, so after 40 attack, I'm going to go and do that. By just killing these guys, I got a full prayer level to 41, that is so sick because only two more levels until protect from melee, holy shit. My friends, I thought it would never happen, but here we go, a genie. The very first genie on this account. Oh man, I'm so happy. Guys, this is gonna feel so great. Let's see. Oh my god. Where is it? There it is. Okay, smithing. How much XP will we get? 100 smithing XP. That is the same as 8 bronze bars. I am incredibly happy. Holy shit. Okay, so before we move on, I want to talk about my end game goals for this account in free to play because you guys have been asking this and I never had an answer, so I wanted to prepare for this. As you can see, I have all these items and skills prepared that I want to go for in the free to play world and once I have completed all this, I will go to the members world like I mentioned in the previous episode. So once I've, you know, achieved this entire list, um, the free to play season is done, season 1, and I will start in season 2 which is going to be member content. Now, as you can see, I have achieved a lot of these things already, but of course there's still a lot to go for. I got the Rune Full Helm and Adamant Plate Lags from the Greater Demons, I got the Mithril Sword from Moss Giants, the Stife of Earth from, you know, the spawn location, and the Dark Wizard Hat and Robe Top from the Dark Wizards. So to complete the items list, I still need a Mithril Chain Body and Kite Shield. Now the Chain Body is dropped by the Lesser Demon and the Greater Demon, so it doesn't really matter where I go. However, the Mithril Kite Shield is only dropped by the Greater Demon, so I will have to go back there eventually. If we take a look at the skills, then we can see that there is a lot more that we still have to do. I got 40 strength and defense, so that is nice, but I still want to go for 40 attack so I can wield rune weapons in the member world. And 43 prayer is going to be very useful to have protect from melee. It is much more dangerous in the member world, so uh, I really want to prepare very well for that. 59 magic is very important to me because then I unlock the highest level free to play spell, Fire Blast, and that is a nice achievement to get in the free to play wildy. Um, 61 range is very useful to get a rune crossbow in the member world. I really don't need it in a free to play world, but I just want to go for it so that when I get to a member's world, I can go for the rune crossbow right away. Now, level 55 cooking is very nice because then I can make myself anchovy pizzas, which is the best food in free to play. And then last but not least is 22 smithing, which is going to be very difficult, the most difficult of all of these skills, um, but only until level 15. From level 15, smithing is going to be really easy because then I can just pick up iron bars and train like incredibly fast. But into level 15 is going to be very, very slow. So now that you know about this list, it is time to celebrate another achievement. Yahoo! Alright then, I have been training my combat stats to level 40 at the Dark Wizards. I got so many runes now and I really want to use those at the skeletons to get more bronze bars and train more magic. But before I'm going to do that, I want to go to the Chaos Altar and get 43 prayer so I can use Protect from Melee. Would be really nice to get, so let's go and do that right now. 
Oh yeah, we've all been waiting for this moment, but finally I got it, level 43 prayer guys, super happy with that, it will come in very handy in the free to play world, but of course also in the members world, so I cannot wait to use this protection. Let's first buy myself a new hammer and then let's make these bars into some weaponry, because of course we want experience. Alright then, let's make a bronze scimitar, just because we can. And there is a 25 XP drop, that is awesome, and now I need 77 more XP for the next level. So one more genie, guys, will bring us a new level. Here we go, level 43 magic, that is awesome, because now I can use super heat item. But of course, I can't do that yet, because I don't have the supplies for it, but maybe in the future. No freaking way, another genie, that is amazing, I'm so freaking happy with that. That is two in a row now, oh my god. Finally some luck, yes, and literally after this genie lamp I get a bronze bar, so that is amazing, and of course let's actually use the lamp now, there we go, where is it, here it is, smithing, confirm, and we got 100 XP, which means we are now level 11, look at that my friends, that is actually so sick. Okay, so what just happened was quite scary. As you can see in the chat, um, there's this guy that says, I don't hurt you. I was killing these skeletons and he suddenly attacked me, but he got attacked by an Anku, so he couldn't finish, you know, the uh, fight. Now, I'm not sure if you actually wanted to let me go, but anyways, I just logged out to be sure. Um, so yeah, but anyways, I'm back here now to uh, train some more smithing, so let's use the bronze bars and make some nice new chain bodies for a lot of experience, well this is a lot for me of course, and uh, look at that, 128 XP for level 12, we are getting somewhere. Okay, so my inventory is full now, so what I'm gonna do is just use my death runes, I mean I only got 11 of them, and then, uh, you know, get one more inventory space so I can get one more bronze bar with me. And there it is, the beautiful bronze bar drop, yoohoo! This will not yet give me a level, but I will be very close to level 12, and after that only 3 more levels guys, we are getting somewhere now. It is still a long way to go, but here we go, 28 XP until level 12. Very nice. By the way, I found a pretty cool way to safe spot these guys, so when I get here, they are aggressive, so I gotta find a way to get them de aggroed. So I do this where this Anku cannot reach me, and then whenever one of the skeletons, you know, comes close, I try to hit it with a crumble and dead, and there's one skeleton that then spawns inside here. Now every time he respawns, I just equip my gear and attack it with melee until they become an aggressive, and then I, you know, can just mage whenever I want, so pretty cool way to do it. And there is level 48 magic, only two more levels till 50, and then I can use snare. Level 50 magic incoming, look at that, beautiful, I can now use snare. Awesome. For real guys, in the last, I think, 20 kills, I got like 5 bronze bars, it's no joke, this is insane, but of course, it's very welcome, so I'm super happy with that. But look at this, 8 bronze bars already, one more, and then I'm gonna go back and smith those. So here we are again, let's smith a chain body, yep, and then get level 12 smithing. And the nice thing about this is, guys, I got more than 1000 chaos runes left, so I can do so many more crumbled and dead. And um, let's first finish this, and after that go back to the skeletons once more, because I'm on a huge uh, bronze bar grind right now. Let's see, 165 XP, let's do it. Oh wow, look at that, 53 HP, I totally forgot about this skill, nice. You know, I really want to do this, but I can't. Alright guys, so I am about to hit level 53 magic, and you know, that is not even the best part of it. You know what I like the most? Let's go for the level first. You know what I like the most? It's that, um, I haven't died. <laughs> I mean, I had 2000 chaos runes, and it feels so good that I've, you know, almost spent them all. I mean, it would've been so bad if I died and lost all of them. I would, you know... It would have been terrible, so I'm super happy that, you know, I got to use these runes and nobody killed me before uh, I was able to, so that is why I'm so happy. So I was thinking about this bronze bar grind, and, you know, you guys are watching this video and ha are having fun and stuff, but do you realize that this bronze bar grind is such a tedious thing to do? I get three bronze bars per hour, you know, this is how slow it is. And you guys just get to see me, you know, smith all these uh, bronze chain bodies and stuff like in a matter of minutes. But for me, it's hours and hours and hours. So, um, you know, a little respect I hope you have for me. <laughs>
Okay then, so I'm now out of spells, I'm, you know, out of all my air runes, so what I'm gonna do now is move over to range once again, because of course I can still kill these guys. Hey, there's a leg. Please don't be too long. Yeah, okay. And I'm just gonna use the curse spell to lure them over. Oh, please don't re... Okay, never mind. Okay, that's all fine. Let's go and continue. Oh gosh. Oh, he attacks him! Oh god, log out! Holy crap! Holy crap, I'm just... I was not paying attention at first, and then I saw this guy, and it looked like he was trying to attack me. And then I saw all these other guys, and they attacked him, and not me. <laughs> Holy shit, I have to rewatch this, man, wow. Okay, so normally I would stay at the Ankus until I got 6 bars to get level 13 smithing, but now that I know these guys are around, I just want to get my experience before I may die, you know? I just don't want to be safe with this, I just, uh, they are so hard to get these bronze bars. I'm just gonna get some XP, let's make 2 scimitars and get some nice XP, 50 to be exact, and then um, we are very close to level 13, but not yet, but very soon we will. And here's level 54 magic by only using the curse spell. That's really nice. I can uh, keep going for a while with this. And um, it's going very well, guys. Look at this. Eight more bronze bars. So um, once I go back, I can get another smithing level. It's gonna be sick. Okay, so this is super amazing. I'm about to get two great levels at the same time. Because when I bury this bone, I will have level 44 prayer which is super good because now I have eagle eye which is super useful for range and when I kill this guy I'm very close I will get level 59 range so only two more levels then and then we have the goal for free to play so this is actually super amazing look at this guys 59 range as well and do we get a bar nope but still I'm super happy I'm gonna leave this place now and uh, turn these bars into some nice XP Seriously, I've been doing so much smithing in this episode, and I know that it's getting a bit repetitive maybe, but this is the main goal for us in free-to-play. It's insane how far we've got already. Like 13 smithing, only two more levels. It's insane. So I'm really happy with this, but I'm not going to continue doing smithing once again. I'm going to go and do something else now, because I also still need a mithril uh, chain body and a mithril kite shield. So I'm going to visit the demons once more to uh, hopefully get some nice new gear. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so before I go to the demons, I want to make sure that if I die, I do not lose many runes or arrows. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to spend all my nature runes on something. Um, I think the best thing I can do is go for 55 magic and then just high elk the runes so that I don't have any nature runes if they kill me because I you know would feel so awful if I die with all these runes on me so I need to find a way to use those so I think what I'm gonna do first is go to the bandit camp and make myself some more pizzas to feel a bit more safe alright then this feels so great I got some nice pizzas right here this nice square of pizzas amazing alright so I have been collecting some more runes because I want to get level 55 magic for high level alchemy and I've been thinking, like, what monster should I kill for this? And I came to the conclusion that the only viable option is skeletons, because they drop the bronze bars and, you know, there's no other monster that I should go and kill. So even though I left there in the last episode, I'm gonna go back there once more to get level 55 magic, so I won't be there for too long. But after that, we're gonna go to the demons and get the max gear. Second kill, and only with melee, but here we go, a bronze bar already. Yoohoo! Well, that is a nice surprise. Level 41 strength. I mean, all the levels are very welcome, of course. I am starting to become really efficient, guys. Look at this. I'm just uh, waiting for the skeleton to respawn. And at the same time, I'm just using my curse runes to train my magic. I mean, it is perfect. Okay, so there's this guy that wants to attack me. And I gotta run now. Hopefully, I can do this right. Yes, he gets attacked. He gets attacked. But I get attacked, too. And I've just done it! Oh man, yes! Of course I had to run, but he did not kill me and that is great. I'm happy. And here we go for level 55 magic. Now I can finally use high level alchemy, which is very nice because now I can finally, uh, you know, spend up all my runes and uh, use this stack. So uh, let's do that right now. 
Holy shit, guys, just look at this. Okay, so I attack this guy, I do a high elk, I use a crumbled undead, and I do it all at once, and I high elk again. And this is super good for experience, but I just attacked the wrong one, I just realized. 101 law runes incoming, and oh yeah! I mean, these law runes are going to be very useful because I'm going to telegrab nature runes at this little island here. There's like two or three nature rune spawns, so um, after I'm, you know, have used all these law runes, I can high elk even more, so that's going to be very useful. Honestly guys, this level went by so quickly. I mean, I'm almost out of nature runes, but then still I got a free magic level and that is worth so much on this account, so I'm super happy and uh, let's move on. So, thanks to all this training, I got five more bronze bars, which will help us get, you know, closer to 14 smithing. So that's what I'm gonna go for right now. Look at this. How much XP do we need? We need uh, 126 XP. That means that if we get one genie lamp, it will be level 14, so that would be great to get. Well, there's an unexpected cooking level. Always welcome. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is extremely dangerous because I'm going to go back to the Greater Demons in the hopes of getting a Mithril Chain Body or a Kite Shield or maybe even both. But at the same time, I want to try to use my Telekinetic Grab to get myself some Nature Runes on this island. But this is a hotspot for PKers, so there's a very good chance that I will see people there and they may kill me. Well, that is the main reason why I, of course, spend up all my Nature Runes so I don't, you know, lose them if I die. But of course, if I die, I will still lose a fair amount of stuff, you know, all this best in slot gear that I got, or almost best in slot. So it's going to be ex exciting, but uh, we will see what's going to happen, guys. In a member's world, I would have been pretty much dead by now, if you know this place. <laughs> Alright, I just want to do this to show you guys what this is about. Look at that, I can telegrab three nature runes with one law rune, and there is another one, but there's only two of them. Uh, oh, wait, it's four of them! Really? I honestly believe it was always two. Wait a second. Please don't kill me. Is it actually four? Okay, so 22, and then telekinetic grab, four. Holy crap, it's four! That's even better! So this is basically the perfect spot for me. I can just kill these demons right here, and whenever this thing respawns this nature rune, I can telegrab it, so that is perfect. And if I even want to, I can even um, high elk in between the kills to speed up the process even faster. Sick. So there's a PKer over there, so I gotta run north, I think I'm just gonna hop, but he is now hunting me down, so I, I don't know what I should do, take a break, I think I'm gonna take a break, but, hmm, it's difficult because I really need to stay here, but he's trying to look for me like in every single world, so that's kind of annoying. Oh, seriously guys, this feels so good, this is literally the last law rune that I have, look at that, I can't even use it anymore. That is awesome. I got 392 nature runes. Now I will use these as fast as I can because if I die I don't want to lose these at once to get more experience. So uh, let's do that now and kill some demons. What I love so much about this place is that I have unlimited eagle eye because this place will recharge your prayer if you're standing around the ruins. Which is great because I can now just simply stay here. Well not AFK because I gotta pay attention for PKers but it's great to kill them now. I totally forgot that I don't have enough fire runes to cast all my uh, high level alchemy spells so I'm gonna go back to the uh, dark warriors fortress and get myself some more fire runes so that I can get more mage XP and use these uh, nature runes. So I am now done with picking up fire runes for a while because I got 1600 plus um, it's not enough to use all my nature runes but I know for a fact that when I kill demons I will get fire runes as a drop so it won't be a problem. So uh, when we go there, we will just use up all our uh, nature runes and then uh, move on and try to kill some more demons. Instead of greater demons, I'm going to kill lesser demons now first. And why? Because um, the lesser demon drops mithril chain body and mithril square shield. And the black, or I mean the greater demon only drops a mithril kite shield. So I have a double chance of receiving an upgrade from the lesser demons. But of course, even though if I get a mithril square shield, it will be an upgrade but not max gear. So... I will have to go to the Greater Demons eventually, but I also need the Mithril Chain Body, which only is dropped by the Lesser Demons. So let's first go to them and see how that works out. So I'm still standing in multi here, but I'm very close to single combat. It's like over there. So if there is a PKer, then I think there's a good chance I will survive this. But of course, I hope I can just kill these guys very peacefully. Wanna see something cool? 
Well, look at this! 57 magic guys, only two more levels and then we have achieved our free to play goal Then we can use fire blast, holy shit, sick Look at this guys, level 60 range, that is amazing But I gotta say, I've killed 66 lesser demons and I haven't gotten one single good drop So it's kind of, you know, discouraging but still I will keep going because I will need the Demithril chain body so I will go for that but look at that, by the way, this is very nice because a red Dragonite body is dropped by the crazy archaeologist. So once I do become a member, I do have some nice equipment that I can get. So very nice. One more level and then we have uh, completed our free-to-play goal for range. Just look at my inventory, guys. A room at helm. I mean, I wanted a good drop, but not this one. Like on any Iron Man, I would love to get this one because I can just high allocate, which I'm going to do right now. But I need a Mithril drop, so let's hope we get a Chain Body next time. But thank you, anyways. You've got to be kidding me, another Rune Madhelm. I mean, let's alk it, but I have no idea what to do with all this cash. I mean, I think I have to keep this until I'm a member, but for now, let's just get rid of this. I remember the time where I had to run from these guys, but look at me now. I'm proud of myself. And there is another free strength level. Look at that. 42. Not bad. Over a thousand new bronze arrows. Let's hope that in these arrows I will get an upgrade for my armor. I wasn't paying attention and ooh, he almost found me. <gasps> well, he's gonna hunt me down now for sure. So I have to... Hmm. What do I do? I don't know. Hey, this is nice. 55 HP. Let's continue. Well then guys, the time is finally here, we got 61 range, the goal has been achieved, that is so sick. I mean, we can now literally drop this bow and it doesn't even matter. I mean, I'm not gonna do it because I can still use my arrows, but we've done it. I mean, once we become a member, I can use a rune crossbow, so it's gonna be so insane. We have done it guys, awesome. We are getting closer and closer to the end game of free to play, but this doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. We will have to revisit the demons in order to get a Mithril Chain Body and Kite Shield and there's also a bunch of skills we need to work on before going to the Members World in Season 2. So let's not wait any longer and continue with this adventure. Well, there is the third Mad Helm in how many kills? 191 and I still have not received a single Mithril drop. I'm starting to wonder if these guys actually do drop the Mithril stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna do 9 more kills until 200 and then I'm just gonna leave this place for a while and I guess go back to the smithing grind because it's a little demotivating guys. Okay then, so I have now killed 200 lesser demons and I still have not received the drop so I think next time I'll go back to demons I will go to the great tiers and hope for a mithril kite shield but I'm not even sure if these guys drop a mithril uh, chain body so kinda sad but oh well. Um, okay. <laughs> oh god, oh no! Oh gosh, there's a PKer there. But, holy crap, there was a huge, oh god. Oh, he can't attack me, okay. <laughs> oh shit, and he's following me, but, oh wait, is he attacking me? No, oh wait a second, they're attacking each other, oh man. That was so scary. Okay, so I don't know what the goal of this guy is, but he's probably trying to tag me or whatever. Oh, look at that. Well, look how pathetic you are now. You can't even do anything. Now that I think about it, I really should have killed this guy. I mean, he was... nothing. Alright, so once again, after picking up all these runes and seeing so many PKers and stuff, it's really, really, you know, busy here right now. Um, anyways, um, I got enough for uh, 59 magic, maybe even enough for 60 magic, I'm not sure. I want to go back to the skeletons and then get myself some nice bronze bars and magic XP. Let's do it! Okay then guys, only one more curse until the next magic level. Here we go, level 58. This is a great way to de-aggro from the skeletons. I can just train my magic and wait. Well, look at that! Our first victory of the day, a bronze bar. Alright, so I made a mistake by putting my microphone on mute, but exactly when this happened, there was this amazing clip, because look at what happened. Boom! A genie. 
and I was so freaking happy. I had such a great reaction, but of course it was muted, so you can't hear me. But anyways, I was so happy to get this genie because it gave me 14 smithing. That means only one more level until we are finally done with the 15 smithing grind. So yeah, this made me really excited and uh, I want to really go for the 15 smithing now. I just will not stop until we have enough bronze bars to get it. So let's do this together. It's like I felt like how many runes I would need for the level. I mean, here we go guys. 59 magic. I can now use Fire Blast and we have completed our free-to-play goal. Let's do it just for fun. There we go. A beautiful Fire Blast. I didn't kill him though, but we've done it. 59. Alright, here we go. Another bronze bar. That is our first trip of 8 bars. That means only 2 of these trips to go and then we will have 15 smithing, of course. If we don't get another genie, because then we will get it way faster. But... Only two more inventories and then we get it. I can't wait. Here we go, guys. We are about to get a hundred smithing experience from these eight bars. And um, we need 300 XP now. So let's make some scimitars. Just because we can. And after making all those, I will have 100 XP. And then only two inventories to go, guys. I can't believe it. I mean, we're so freaking close. Here we go, 43 strength, nice level, thank you very much. 17 levels till 500 total by the way, pretty cool. I now have 1 million XP guys, this is the beginning of maybe something big. Perhaps in a few episodes I will have 10 million XP, who knows. Well, this is incredibly exciting because this may possibly be the last bronze bar that I will have to collect on this account. And I say possibly because I will have to explain. Look, I got 5 bronze bars in my inventory, that is 62.5 XP. We need 200 XP, so if I get this XP, I need less than 140 XP for level 15, and that is one genie lamp. So what I'm gonna do now is just leave this place, do the other things that I have to do, and if I get a genie, then I will have 15 smithing. If I don't get it, like, and I've completed everything else, then I will go back here to grind for the bronze bars anyways, but I'm, of course, hoping for a genie, and then we will have 15. So I'm incredibly excited. This is so awesome. Let's make a nice bronze full helm and another one. And then a fancy dagger to finish off this grind. Because, of course, we started with one. So now we're going to end with one, hopefully. Awesome. Alright, so if you take a look at my inventory, you can see that um, I don't have too much inventory space. And I'm gonna do some fishing and cooking because I need level 55 for the anchovy pizzas. So I think what I'm gonna drop is the chaos runes, body runes, air runes, steel axe and the hammer. Because I don't think I need them at the moment. I want to have these four spaces for food because if there's a PKR I need some food to be able to survive. So I'm gonna have like a 12 slot inventory uh, for fishing. And I think that's good enough, you know, it's not going to be that difficult, but um, yeah, 12 inventory space for, for fishing, let's do it. So let's uh, celebrate this fishing level, but that's not why I wanted to record this clip. I wanted to talk about, like, dying on this account right now, because of course, dying always sucks, especially with this cash tag and with the armor that I got already. But to be completely honest, if I die now, I don't even care that much because it is not going to be too hard to get back the stuff that I need to. I have to go back to the Greater Demons anyway, so should I lose the Rune Full Helm, I will probably get another one later on. Um, if I do lose my bow, it would kind of suck, but I think I'm good enough now to have some different options for killing these creatures, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now what I'm going to do is just pay attention to the minimap because there can be PKers here and train my cooking and fishing until level 55 cooking. And also pray for a genie because that will give us 15 smithing as well and that is going to be so super awesome. So let's do it guys. Yahoo! Well guys, this does not seem like a special level but it definitely is because 36 fishing means 500 total on this account. I mean that is actually sick. We can now go to... Oh, we actually can't. We need 508 total to go to the free-to-play um, skill world. But still, we're very close, and I'm very proud. All right, then, guys, after these two fish, I will be able to make meat pizzas because our cooking level is now 45. That's actually very nice because now I can, you know, make all these ones into meat pizzas and have a little bit more food on me. Honestly, guys, a pretty badass level for fishing with only shrimp and anchovies. I would be able to catch lobsters now, but nope, no lobster pot. Sucks. 
Just look at this, bros. Here we go. 50 cooking. Five more levels. I can't wait, but it's incredibly slow, so I just have to grind a little longer. Oh no, it's this guy again. The annoying ranger. Okay, let's run away, and he will not follow me anyways. You've got to be kidding me. I've just returned, and then this guy shows up. Oh man. Okay, so even though I wanted to do cooking and fishing at the same time, I think I'm gonna go and do pizzas now because as you may have seen in the previous clips, I get attacked every single time and that is super annoying and the chance of being attacked is a lot smaller when I keep hopping worlds, so, and it will also be faster XP, but I will also not be getting any random events, so that's the downside of it, but you know, it'll be faster XP, so it's gonna be okay in the end. So to save some inventory space for making pizzas, I'm gonna get rid of my small fishing net and my steel play buddy because I can just simply pick these up in the wildy whenever I want to. And to be honest, I don't think I'll be wearing this steel play buddy anymore. I'm gonna go for the mithril chain buddy so I, you know, can lose it. That's fine. So this was a very scary moment. There was this level 60 mage with fire blast hunting me down all night and he kept finding me like in multiple worlds which was really annoying, but the problem is that this guy was level 60 and I'm 59, so he is one level higher than I am, he was able to chase me down in the entire wilderness, so I had to go back all the way to the ditch before he was not able to attack me anymore. Now in the end, it turned out that he is actually one of my viewers and he likes my videos, so it's a nice chat that I had afterwards with him, so uh, it was a nice guy, it was a good fight, but sorry man, you did not kill me. Finally, after a very long grind, I did it. I got 55 cooking. It took me like all day, I think. But this is so great because we have now completed this free-to-play goal and it doesn't matter what happens now, I can always get myself and show the pizza so that it's super sick. What I'm gonna do now is stock up on a full inventory of anchovy pizzas, then get myself bronze arrows and then continue the max gear grind at the demons. It's gonna be fun. Just look at this beautiful inventory. There is another 1000 arrows guys, you know what this means. Let's go and kill some demons. And there is level 62 range. Still no kite shield but we will keep going of course. Okay, so I may be dead now. I think I am dead. This is gonna be a, a, a long run, probably. Oh my god, yep, okay, this is it. This is it! I'm actually going to die, because this is something I can't fight against, it's impossible. Wow. Honestly, oh, really, sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this is how you guys want to kill me, wow. Damn it. Yep. So, I will have to rebuild, and I think without my bow now, that is going to be, yeah, very painful. I'm like eating with everything I've got, but they keep snaring me, so... Yeah, well I guess good fight. <laughs> the problem is, I tried to world hop, but I clicked on a member's world, so because of this I was not able to hop, that is even more painful about it. Jeez! So, the short ball is on the ground, the question is again, did they take it or not? I really want to know, they didn't, once again they didn't, and I got my mithril sword, um, uh, okay, this is interesting, let me think, you've got to be kidding me, this is the third kill after I died and I get the mithril kite shield, I mean, of course I'm super happy because now we have to go, two more drops to go, the rune full helm and the eddy lags, but if I got these three kills earlier, I could have just go away and just had the drop, wow. Oh my god, we just got it. We just got the... Oh my... Yes, boys. This is amazing. We got the genie. This is the final genie. Let's all enjoy this moment. Oh my god, we finally got the genie. Yes. Confirm. And let's celebrate. Level 15 smithing has been achieved, my friends. Holy crap, I am so super happy. Yes! Level 63 range, guys. What a level. When I first started this account, I would never have thought that I would reach this range level, but it's super sick. You know, 
I've been killing these greater demons for a while now and I got 128 kills. That would be the average drop rate of all the three items that I need. So a Mithril Kite Shield, a Room Full Helm and any lags. But I only got the uh, Mithril Kite Shield so far. You know, at this point it's all RNG based. I mean, this season could be done like in a, in a matter of minutes. I mean, if I kill these... If I kill two more demons and get a room full helm and any lags and go to the lesser demons and get a mithril chain body, I'm done. But it's just not the way it works, so I will have to just have patience and hopefully I won't die because that is the most annoying part about this. It is in such deep wildy that even if I do collect like two items, then if I get killed I have to start all over again and that is the thing that sucks about this so much. But of course, we will keep going and eventually achieve our goals. No. Holy shit, another genie. Now, of course, I have the smithing goal already, but this is always welcome, of course. Now, of course, the next thing that we're going to go for is mining, because there's no single way I can train mining in the wildy. So, guys, this is very exciting. Our first mining lamp. Look at this. 10 XP. Finally, another drop. The Eddy Flay Lags. I'm super happy with that. Now, only the rune full helm, and I can leave this place. Oh, I would have been... It would be so nice if this actually happens. I literally just got... Thread. This is not on my item collection list, but it's just as rare as a room full helm. All right then, so I have decided to take a break from the demons because I've been there for so long and I think it's time to train some smithing now. So I'm gonna buy this hammer and sell all this stuff to the uh, store so I got some more money and inventory space. And then let's hop worlds and pick up iron bars, finally! It's so amazing guys, I talked about this since episode 1 and now we finally get to do it. Hop worlds and pick up iron bars, I mean... It's such a great feeling, guys, honestly. It is so insane that one iron bar is the same as two bronze bars, and it took me like an hour to get three bronze bars, and now I pick up this inventory in a matter of like two minutes. It is such a weird feeling. All right then, here we go. Let's make some iron daggers, and look at all the XP coming in. We will get levels very quickly, guys. All right then, my friends, it is time to check another skill of the list. Smithing is going to get to level 22 here. Look at that. 22 smithing has been achieved, which means that when we become a member, we can make iron knives. That is awesome. Alright then, so now that we got 22 smithing, we have completed every single skill goal in free to play, and nobody can take that away from us because we can't lose any skills. But of course we have item goals as well, and because I died I lost some items, for example the Rune Full Helm and Eddy Plate Lags, but I already have managed to reclaim the Eddy Plate Lags and also got a new item, the Mithril Kite Shield. Now also the Mithril Sword was not picked up when they killed me, so I did not lose that. But of course now the items that I still need to go for are the Rune Full Helm, which I will have to claim at the uh, Greater Demons, then the Mithril Chain Body at the Lesser Demons, a Staff of Earth at the Lava Maze, and then a Dark Wizard hat and Black Robe top at the Dark Wizards in the low level Wildy. At this point it is all RNG. I mean it could take 2 hours to get all the items, but also a day or a week. So I guess there's no time to waste, let's just go and kill these monsters. Yes! I got it! Holy crap! I got the Room Full Helm! That is perfect because that means I don't have to go back to the Greater Demons. Holy crap, that is actually super great. Wow, I did not expect it. Okay, great, great. Okay then, I am going to reclaim my Staff of Earth in the Lava Maze, which is kind of dangerous because of course there are PKers sometimes, um, but I think I'll be safe, but you never know of course. Okay then, here we go, got the Staff of Earth. I mean, I think I might as well just pick up this Steel Play body as well now I'm here. I'm not even sure if this will help, but I picked up like 150 uh, curse spells so I can lure the demons with the curse spell. Because if I shoot a bronze arrow, then there's an arrow on the ground that shouldn't be there. So it may be suspicious for other people that know there shouldn't be an arrow there. I mean, it may not even help me, but oh well. I'm gonna try everything I can now to not die and get myself this mithril chain body. You've got to be kidding me. The square shield, I got the wrong mithril drop. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. Well, hopefully we're on the on the right path, you know. Maybe we will get the chain body soon. 64 range. Yahoo! I got it. Oh my god. I got it. I got the mithril chain body, guys. We did it. 
We actually did it. Oh my god. Let's drop the steel play body. I got it. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. I'm so freaking happy. Let's go to the Dark Wizards and get the hat and the robe. Holy crap. Bye bye, arrows. I will not have to pick you up again. Bye bye, skeleton. I will not have to grind for bronze bars anymore. Okay, so let's take a look at the max bonus in free to play because to be honest, I never really checked what the max bonus actually is. So. Yeah, this is best in slot for melee, of course, and, uh, well, as you can see, it is not that great, of course, but for a uh, free-to-play wilderness-only Ultimate Iron Man, I think this is not too bad, guys. Look at that. I'm so super happy. We actually got it. Now, to officially complete the series, I still need to get a Dark Wizard hat and rope top, so let's do that, and then uh, we'll see what's gonna happen next. And there is the hat on the second kill. Oh man, this is so much easier than the chain body and the kaiju. Oh man. Well, look at that. There is even a nice strength level coming in. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. It even took me longer than expected to get this black robe. It took me 133 kills, but we got it now, guys. Here it is, the black robe on the ground. Let's pick it up. Wow. This feels so great, guys. We have completed the free-to-play wilderness as an ultimate Iron Man. All the goals have been achieved. So, this is what it looks like. A completed goals list. I gotta say, I had so much fun with these series. I hope you guys enjoyed it too, but of course this is not the end. Because like I mentioned in the previous episodes, this series is going to have a second season in the pay to play world, in the members world, with the same account we play on right now. And perhaps there will even be a third season. Now, right now I'm not going to explain in detail what the exact plans are, but as soon as I post a new video about the Wilderness Iron Man, you will definitely hear more about it. What I would really like to say, by the way, is that a YouTuber named Lonnie Hawkins is the person that inspired me to make these series. Uh, he doesn't even know me, and at the moment his channel is inactive, so he might never come back. But feel free to check out his channel if you would like to watch a similar series as mine. He's a very gentle guy and has loads of fun with playing the game. I've left a link to his channel in the description of my video. Now, I bet you guys want to know something about the statistics of the first season, so I made a little list for you. First of all, I got one kill. I died twice. I got about 1.3 mil XP. My total level is 534. Combat 60. I played 120 hours in total. I spawned 4 genies. The highest cash tag I ever had was 81k and 188 GP. The most killed NPC is skeletons. The best item I ever got was the rune full helm. And my longest grind, 15 smithing, which took about 60 hours. Alright then, so for me it feels right to end the season like we started it by crossing the wilderness ditch. Now of course at the beginning we wanted to go inside the wildy, but now we want to leave the wildy. Of course don't worry because I won't do anything outside of the wildy because season 2 is again going to be in the wildy, but then in a member's world. But just to finish off this first season, it feels right to do it. So guys, are you ready? Let's cross the wildy ditch. Look at that. Mission accomplished.